Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Behind us is the new Volkswagen Daigo. Uh, let's check it out in detail. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So here's the new beautiful Daigo. And uh, this is the life package. So we're gonna check it out in details. Uh, here's the key, classical Volkswagen key. Sorry, the iPhone camera is struggling with the focus a bit because of the macro lens. Uh, lock, unlock, unlock the cargo, and you can extend the physical grasshopper style key. So, uh, if we unlock the car, you can see the mirrors unfold. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's check the details. So, these are the Bayes LED headlights. <clears throat> now, they turn into daytime running lights, and on the top is the turn signal, and you have LED projectors on the top and you got the fog lights on the bottom so uh, on the base model unfortunately you don't get the cool LED stripe in the middle now this seems like a solid white color now if I back up a little bit you can see the whole car it looks elegant it's a crossover SUV so since I didn't get in the car it locked but uh, don't worry we're gonna unlock it again I like the strikes on the hood it just gives it a little bit more character and then if we look at the front you have the uh, opening on the top and the bottom for air intake and the Volkswagen badge is the radar for the cruise control and the emergency braking we have a little chrome on the bottom and the top so it isn't uh, too much dual but uh, let's Check the details so also on the bottom in the life package you have this plastic protection that goes all around so if you're going off-roading it will protect your clear paint you can see that on the bottom as well extending all the way around the vehicle now on the top you have the uh, lane assist camera light and rain sensor a little sensor in the middle mirror for the incoming traffic and we're gonna come back to the spec uh, later. So, uh, Google tells me that you uh, lose the focus if I go to the specs. We're gonna check it on the end. Uh, metal finish. So this is a metal finish. Roof racks. You have the little antenna. So um, the Tygo is shared platform with the Polo. So we're gonna see a lot of similarities inside. It's actually identical. A uh, little aluminum. Actually, it looks like aluminum. It's just colored plastic. So, but still gives it a little bit different character. Uh, Volkswagen signature on the B pillar, <clears throat> and we have a, a little spoiler going slightly up, a little contrasting in black. So we check the car from this angle. You can see the nice connected LED taillights. And if we unlock the car, you can see the turn signals are at the bottom. Now the bottom bumper is all plastic and it does look a little bit dual, but if you want that painted, you'll have to upgrade your package. But the LED taillights are all LED technology. So even the reverse lights, fog lights and this is the back looks. So let's open it up. So I'm gonna come to the side here. You can see the whole car. Opens fairly tall. And we have 440 liters of cargo volume. And it is very accessible. It's nice and wide, opens. Uh, we love uh, lift backs, hatchbacks. Over here we have around five fingers of height to the loading area. And if you check here the uh, right side, we have the tether points on all four ends. We have the stoppers. We have a grocery hook here. We have tether points for the seats. And then uh, same layout on the sides. There is no 12 volt outlet as far as I see. There is a little space here on the side, on the left. And then you can open up here then these stoppers hold the bottom 
excuse me, the top shelf now. And then you can see the spare tire is inside. Uh, most cars now ditch this, but Volkswagen again decided to put this back uh, for some reason. But it's always, I think you would agree, there's always nice to have a spare tire in the car rather than the patching kit. And then you can lower this down, you can just slide it and then lower it down. So you would get a extra, another five fingers of height. So that's very practical if you need more uh, space. So, okay, this is a little bit, uh, not too much challenging with one hand, but would be a lot easier with two hands. And then seats knocked down to 60, 40, no middle. Uh, for that, you will have to upgrade the package. Have a rubber stopper here so it doesn't bang. Uh, and you have an emergency triangle. If you need to unlock the car, you can push in a key and then push to the side from the inside if you're unlocking. You have this shelf, you can remove this, uh, but if you wanna have more cargo on the top to use this space. And uh, you can put in a longer umbrella here, it won't fall down. So it's practical. Uh, manual closing, and you can see the LED license plates and the unlock button there. Now, here is your fuel cap. So this is the uh, petrol. Uh, so you also have these uh, simply clever features. Uh, well, that's how Škoda calls it, but it's shared inside a group. Cutting this in, I forgot I didn't show the alloy. So we have the uh, drum brakes on the rear, it's interesting. So the tire is so greasy, I can't read from it. I'm gonna switch to the other one. <clears throat> so, this seems like a 16 inch, but uh, over here, 20560 R16. So these are the 16 inch alloys and you get the real discs on the front, obviously, but on the rear, you have the drum brakes. This is practical, saves you a lot of money down the line with the services. And again, this plastic protection is very practical when you're going off-roading. Now, um, let's check the rear space. Have the excellent Volkswagen closing sound. Seals are all good. And uh, you have the inside seal, just classical setup uh, you can push the key inside switch this and then you would lock the rear for the kit are plastic kind of standard in volkswagen but a bit disappointing there's no cloth here same as in the new polo uh, automatic power windows little cubby there speaker on the bottom and then here are the seats check the interior now you can knock them down over here and then that's how it looks. Space inside. And just to check the base cloth seats, very comfortable, nice material, nice and warm in the winter. And you have those physical switches for the lights on the top, which are of course LED. Okay, so have in mind, I was sitting on the front and I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. Now, I have plenty of feet room and knee room. Let's hear the closing sound. It's pretty solid. And so over here we have two USB-Cs, standard for, uh, so it's fast charging USB-Cs, standard. Have a very high transmission tunnel. So uh, squeezing a third person on the rear should be only for short trips. These seats are very comfy, nicely profiled on the bottom and the top. You have the tethered points, no plastics anymore, so you won't lose those covers. And if we look at the side windows, they're nice and tall. They have a one in the seat pillar, and this is the overview on the back. Very practical, and then the LED lights and physical buttons. Now, if we check the height, uh, despite this being a sort of coupe design, uh, there is uh, plenty of space, but for a two meter tall person, you will be hitting a little bit. But if you were an average, like, or up to 190, you would be very comfortable. Maybe your hair would be touching. But for an average person, si average height size, it's more than enough space. Let's get on the front. Now, we have a little uh, hook on the B pillar. 
and front adjustable seat belt but Volkswagen decided to remove the top handles for some reason only known to Volkswagen and uh, the little polo facelift also lost that so I don't know comment below what do you think about that idea again solid opening and closing sound we're used to in Volkswagen and the seals are also standard uh, although they don't extend on the bottom I notice there's one on the bottom and there's a no more seal over here they used to have those but hmm, I don't know okay hard plastics on the front not standard in the industry but standard in the entry models at least in Volkswagen group uh, handles are nice you have the lock and lock button and then you have this kind of uh, black finish it's not anymore piano black they added this little uh, details but it has a mirror finish and the little light when the car is locked and then on the front you have cloth which they've saved some money on the rear all power windows automatic you can lock the rear uh, electronic mirrors folding and heated heated finally standard and I believe in reverse uh, you can lower down the right mirror now let's check the tire pressure information it's here so you can spec up to 17 excuse me 18 inch alloys 16 to 18 and then <clears throat> quick look at the seats <clears throat> so these are the manual this is for up and down for the tilt uh, no lumbar as you can see and then you can push that up to slide back and forward there is a little here space we can put maybe a reflective vest and then the cloth seats standard Volkswagen have decent bolsters decent comfort and over here we have the this is the manual so uh, classical pedals have the light switch which is should be on automatic and then you have the fog lights extending towards outside and you have the level of the LED headlights height steering column is manual let's get inside <clears throat> to the closing sound very nice switching to wide lens now um, seen this if you're following my channel this is the new cockpit of the Volkswagen Polo or the old one and um, there's not a lot of new things but there is this uh, new base virtual cockpit so I'm gonna zoom back in um, well I forgot the key in my pocket but uh, take it out for a moment so I found the key I was in the other pocket now uh, steering wheel this is the classical new Volkswagen steering wheel flat bottom uh, very nice and smooth leather a little stitching here and we have this nice physical buttons for the volume cruise control and then here for the pages for the little infotainment we're gonna check out voice commands and views still classical Volkswagen levers for the turn signals wipers and so on and here we have the air vents again this black details now you are wondering the top is soft so that's surprising unlike the Volkswagen T-Rock which also share this cockpit on the bottom also soft but then here is where the hard plastic continues I would say this is nice I mean okay because uh, I have a Skoda Octavia 3 and this was soft and then the doors were hard so um, that's it so very similar air vents at the bottom of the screen so your eyes are closer to the road and we're gonna check this infotainment here's the hazards but just to show you the glove compartment is slowly getting down then you have this uh, Volkswagen book here and over here you have the SD cards um, airbag controls coins business cards it's fairly roomy but I don't see the AC anymore and this doesn't feel too cheap although it's plasticky now um, manual AC fan control speed direction and then the temperature you want uh, AC on and 
defrost the rear, close the air circulation. You do have two USB-Cs on the bottom. This is a rubber mat. There is no wireless charging in this one, but you can put your phone here. Auto start, stop off, parking sensors. Uh, you can put here a maybe parking card and a new uh, lever we saw in the group. Uh, five speed manual and then for the reverse you push down and into the first gear so uh, this is i believe petrol with the 95 horsepower that's why there's only five gears uh, manual handbrake nicely covered with leather uh, in 2022 all cars will have the electronic handbrake so this is made in 2021 or at least designed and we have a little uh, Volvo outlet here a little uh, I guess package for the smokers really unhealthy but it's uh, again personal choice we all have and on the bottom there's some cup holders and all space there a uh, really small armrest extends it doesn't have levels and it's a decent room inside actually it has a little bump here but there you go you can't really see inside since it's so deep front seats have these for the kids and uh, very nice so let's just move to the front well plenty of headspace i think i'm in the lowest position but uh, yeah roomy and then the overview at least my level uh, of eyes as you can see the hood you're in a uplift position crossover feels like an suv uh, light switch is all led finally you have some buttons on the top like the emergency button service and so on and then you have the nice rubber here compartment for the glasses sunglasses and over here you have the privacy mirror with finally also led lights on the top all documents folder does it extend if you're wondering so this area could shine but no it's fixed maybe something for the future now key you still have the physical cylinder and voila, this is the Volkswagen's uh, base infotainment or, excuse me, base digital cockpit. It doesn't have super sharp graphics, but it's decent. So this is the screen, TFT screen, I zoom, and this is just a layout that lightens up. This is your fuel and the temperature on the sides. <clears throat> and then you have this... Um, well, uh, speedometer or odometer. And then you can see here, if you switch through views, you can have here some information. So you have three views, very basic, but I would say very practical. You can see here, go to the settings, no display, distance, time, average speed, navigation, audio, phone, destination, info, compass. If you go to the settings, you can have driving data, consumption, average, consumption, distance, time, average speed, set level, uh, lever display, oil temperature, well, there's loads of options. And then, if you go to the other side, it could be no display, consumption, also oil temperature. And let's see here, settings. So I believe you can just switch Everything that's on the left is also available on the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the right is available on the left. So that's cool. You can have this. In this case, nothing changes. In this case also. So you have the speed on the side. Or you can have it in the middle. Uh, and in this classical way. That was the base Volkswagen digital cockpit. And then over here, we have the... Um, base uh, screen it now has gestures i guess uh, standard have the navigation it wasn't purchased app car menu and then over here well i don't want to remove this because this is supposed to be a new car but you can see radio radio media and phone and voice <clears throat> uh, i don't think voice commands work uh, so you can purchase these through the volkswagen online uh, shop there settings uh, you can switch languages this is all classical Volkswagen um, 
Volkswagen um, infotainment. We covered it a lot of times. So just you can see here, average consumption, <clears throat> driving data, vehicle status, like TPMS, fuel and stuff like that. You can hear is check settings, uh, lights, and well, you could have here ambient lights, but this is a base model. It doesn't have that, but <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all of these because I've covered it multiple times in the other Volkswagen cars. Uh, the navigation doesn't work, app connect. So you can use Android and Apple CarPlay or Maryland via the USB, in this case, USB-C. And then the radio, well, some Croatian uh, domestic music, but decent bass speakers. And that's it. If you turn it off here, you get a little clock, and different uh, face watches. I hope <laughs> the camera wasn't focused on the steering wheel. I do apologize if that was the case, but this is all uh, very decent and uh, basic. In the Volkswagen, they've added uh, a lot of new stuff standard. Now, uh, you have here some information about your trip. And let's get on the front, show you the bonnet. I'm gonna check the specs, show you the LED headlights, taillights. So, uh, in front of the batch, starting from the right, pushing towards the left. And voila, you have to use a little leg, but this is the little petrol. I believe this is the three cylinder, if I'm not mistaken. Little blue thing is your washer. Uh, the sound insulation and that's it so let's close it up closes perfectly let's check the spec so this is the 1.0 tsi i believe this is a three cylinder uh, five speed manual uh, average consumption is supposed to be 5.5 liters and uh, this is the pure white color titan black interior life package and it has extra package with the uh, light and vision and stuff like that. So uh, this is the price. I'm going to type it in euros. <clears throat> and this is the energy for the tires, Bridgestone. Now uh, you want to see the LED headlights, I assume. So we're going to put the key inside and switch the LED headlights to the daytime running light. So uh, it might flash on the camera. Actually, it's not, but... So those are the daytime running lights. Now I'm gonna switch to the rear. So these are also the rear taillights. I really like these, these are connected. They look really elegant, in my opinion. So these are, let me just turn the lights on all the way, with the fog lights. Once again back, you can see the LED fog lights and the uh, lights on. So then the LED daytime running lights are flashing on the camera a bit, but not in person, of course. And if we do turn on the Hazards. Boy, the car is persistent with the beeping. So you can see the rear turn signals or the hazards. Of course, you have them in the mirrors. Might have forgot to mention you have a physical blind spot in the mirror. <clears throat> and then once again, you can see the top daytime and running lights turn into turn signals, as I've mentioned. So that was it. That was the a life package of the new Taigo. And we're gonna have a different car on the channel. Uh, another package, so if you wanna see that, subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos.
So everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, leave your comments below how to like the new Tygo life package. Stay safe and uh, Merry Christmas. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.